Hey, this is Dan. Welcome back to Real Men How To. And today I want to show you how to upload a video to YouTube. Uh, assuming you've already got a YouTube account, I want to go ahead and show you the basic easy way to do it, especially with YouTube's new uploader service they have. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we've already made our video and we've already got it saved to our desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Upload. And that's going to bring me to a new screen. Also, you got to make sure you're logged into your into your the right account. But anyway, click on Upload. It's going to bring you to this screen here. Anyway, select files from your computer. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open up this screen here. Let's go click on Desktop. We know that's where it's at. And how to make a Gmail account with Google. That's the one I want to go ahead and upload today. So we're going to go ahead and just double click on that one. And it's going to go ahead and start that upload. Now, what it's going to do is this, this screen is going to come up into three basic tabs. Th basic Info, Monetization, and Advanced Settings. So on this first one here, I'm going to go ahead and just erase the .avi. But how to make a Gmail account with Google. I'm going to go ahead and leave that right there. And then in my description, I can go ahead and put some information in there as well. It's like uh, in this video, I show you how to... Create an email account with Google. Okay, and then there's a couple things you could do down here. You could write all kinds of stuff in the description. You could write whatever you want, however you want to in there. Now, if you're looking up here, the uploading your video, 10 minutes remaining, and it's going to give you an address of where, you're, where it's going to be live at. If you click on that, it's going to open up a new window, but it's just going to say, uh, we're sorry, but this video is now processing, or, you know, it's going to say, this video is, video is currently being processed. So we don't need to worry about that yet. Let's go ahead and finish up our other stuff we've got in these tabs here. Now, under the basic info tab, you know, we want to make sure we got our title set in there. And titles, you know, title is very important on getting views and getting subscribers and getting, you know, all the information. So you want to make sure you have a good, catchy title. And I'll probably actually come back in and modify my title just a little bit on that one. But in your description, you want to have some good keywords in there than any other info. Uh, like one thing I want to do is I want to actually, you know, put my connect to connect to me information in there so I'm actually going to open up another uh, window really quick and rather than typing this all out I'm going to come in here to the last video I uploaded how to paint how to paint your daddy's toenails I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and then I'm going to click on this show more bar here and right here I'm going to go ahead and just select all this right here Let me pause that I'm going to go ahead and select all this information right here, connect with me. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and copy it. I'll close this window now. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Boom. All of that's in there now. Connect with me and it's got my my couponing channel, my how-to channel, my review channel, my Facebook page, my RMC item of the week at Walgreens blog. It's got all that information in there. Now, the next thing we want to do is add tags. Now, tags are for the purpose of when anybody is searching YouTube and they come up here and they put any information in here, if you have tags and you have good tags written down, more more likely than not, you will actually get more views on your page just by having good tags. So the two things you want to have is you want to have a good title and you want to have good tags. So the first thing I'm going to do on my tags, I'm just going to go ahead and write a few of them in here. I'm going to write how, comma, to, comma. I'm going to go ahead and do parentheses. And then I'm going to do how, to, and then, you know, in parentheses, or not parentheses quotes quotation marks <clears throat> now by putting the quotation marks in that's going to be that means exact match so when somebody types in how to that's going to be more relevant to the search engines um, let's see we're going to go ahead and do gmail email account google um, and I'll probably come back and I'm going to probably add, I usually you'd like to add probably about 15 or 20 different tags in there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that, leave that alone for now and I'll come back and show you here in just a minute. But I'm going to show you a couple other things real quick. On monetization, you can actually click on the monetization tab and it says monetize my video. Now, if you have Google AdSense already set up, then you'll probably already be well aware of what, what this is all about. But if not, you want to go over to Google and type in Google AdSense and do a little research on it. And that way you can monetize your videos and actually get paid for the advertisements that are on Google. So I'm going to go ahead and click on monetize my videos. And then it just comes up with a little uh, disclaimer here. And anyway, it says by clicking here, I confirm that all elements of the video are mine. I'm going to go ahead and click on got it. And then it's going to come up with some different options here. 
overlay in video ads which are the little little video little ads that pop up across the bottom of the screen and then true view in stream ads that's the ads that show before each video and after five seconds then you can go ahead and click on skip but i like having those in there just you know you get paid just a little bit more for that <laughs> the next tab across the top here is going to say advanced settings now in here you can change some of the stuff that actually users can do now allow comments all and you can you know you can approve them or you can just allow all of them uh, users can vote on comments users can rate this video settings could not be saved unknown error okay we'll figure that out here in just a minute anyway oh it's because I didn't select anything I went to all and I kept it on all then it said it couldn't be saved because it didn't change allow video responses I usually change this to all and I, that way I can let people, anybody who wants to make a video response is more than welcome to and throw it up as a response to this video. And then syndication, yes, you want to make it available on mobile phones. That's going to definitely get you a lot more views, especially with all the smartphones out there. But if you say no, then they have to actually be on the computer and do it that way. Enable embedding is another important one. If another website wants to embed your video on their site, you want to have that clicked. And then video lo location, I mean, you can hit search and it'll actually put in your location and recording to date. I'll click on today and it'll actually put that date in there. And then on vid 3D video, if you actually shot it in 3D, you can actually, you know, set it up that way. But I don't know, I don't have a preference on that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes. And if not, it'll automatically save those changes anyway. Okay, now that my upload's complete, I wanted to show you one other thing really quick. Over here on the right side that I totally forgot about was privacy and publish settings. Anyway, you can set it as public, unlisted, or private. Now, public, anyone can search it and see it through YouTube and see it anywhere in there. Unlisted, anyone with a link can view it. So if you have it just like family videos or something you want to upload, but you don't want everybody to see it, you can just send that email or send that link to your family, friends, anybody, and they can come over as long as they have that link. If you put it on private, only people you choose can view it, and you actually have to put those names in. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as public. Now, right underneath that, it has category, and it has a bunch of different categories that we can put in here. I'm going to go ahead and choose education since I'm go ahead since I'm actually teaching you how to create a free email account. So I'm going to leave that as education. And then if you notice, I went ahead and added a bunch of different tags in here while we was waiting for it to upload. And then now it's giving me three different uh, thumbnails that I can use for each one of these and uh, I really don't have a preference on them they're all about the same so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes and now up here at the top says upload complete your video will be live at we'll go ahead and click on that and let's see if my video is live and I put to change my title to how to make a free email account with Gmail welcome back to real man how to my name is Dan and there it is it's just like that simple piece of cake now the the thumbnail I was talking about when you click on video manager the thumbnail is actually what shows up right here and your site over here. And if you notice, it's already had two views and one like. So, you know, it's not bad. I like, I like it when I get lots of fast views like that. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you watching. And stay tuned for more how-tos and tutorials. Thanks.